Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an all-new build on the bench, the Batman Returns Bat Missile. I'm doing this as part of the Amazing Scale Modelers group build, which for anybody who knows me, knows that as soon as they announced it was a Batman themed build, I was going to have to get in on it. This kit's been sitting around for a while, and this was the perfect time to get it out and get it built. I am going to be doing it a little different from some of the other builds that I've seen though. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be making it look like the bat missile came from this. Now, this is my 92 returns car, which I built at the same time as the 89 car, and tried to get as many specific details correct to each movie as I could. Uh, in this case, it's got windshield wipers, it's got some slightly different interior detailing, but the biggest difference is the paint scheme. This had a glossier black paint job, black wheels, black turbine intake, and so this is the color scheme that I'm going to be starting with for my bat missile. So let's take a look at the kit and see what I've got to work with. Okay, so starting off with the body, you can see it's pretty good representation of the center fuselage. Got some nice detailing back here, but it does lack the split seam down the middle where the halves of the cockpit came together so I'm gonna have to add that and some pretty nice detailing here on the sides as well yeah. obviously no jet engine in it anymore that must have gotten jettisoned out the bottom when it was stripping everything else off pretty basic but definitely workable and the first sprue that we've got here, got the seat, side intakes, suspension components, and the axles and wheel carriers. And what it's supposed to be is these are supposed to fit up in here and carry the wheels, which I'm going to be doing that a little bit different as well. I'm going to be using some of these, uh, doing a little bit of scratch building though, and actually using the wheels and tires from the Batmobile kit on this because what they did in this is they give you eight tires to kind of create a little more stability for the shelf model and also make things a little sturdier for play but I don't need to worry about that so I'm going to be using the wide tires on the back just like the original Batmobile had and I'm going to be offsetting the front tires so that they sit closer to centered under the car and probably not using any of these and the second sprue has the cockpit bucket, the canopy, front intake, the narrowed dashboard, and all of the wheels, and finally the steering wheel and the throttle levers. And like the body, this doesn't have the split seam in it, so I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, probably going to take out the center divider, which that was on the prop car, but in its transformation sequence that part of the canopy was jettisoned so really there should only be a break in the glass right there and that's what I want to replicate and next up we got the chrome sprue you got the four outer wheels four inner wheels exhaust afterburner and this up here is the turbine intake Casting looks pretty good on it. None of this is going to stay chrome. Uh, afterburner and the nozzle are going to end up being a dark gunmetal. The intake is going to be a glossy black to match the body. And since I'm going to be using different wheels and tires, those will just end up in the parts box. And then the last thing is the glass. And for some reason they went with tinted on this which is a little unfortunate because none of the Batmobile kits have tinted glass. And I might see if I can use something out of one of them or maybe just scratch build something. We'll see as I build it. And so there you go. The next project. This should be a pretty fun project and something I'm really looking forward to. Uh, next week, though, is going to be the next update to the Hidden Figures 57 Chevy, and then 
this will be the following update. So be sure to check back for updates on both of those. Thanks for watching.